morning. Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome to Live at 945 Oasis Church of All Nations. Live at 945. We are so excited to be with you guys today. I have an amazing guest here that is going to be able to, that's going to share with us a little bit about him and what he's doing in America. Um, our pastors, Joanna and well, Mozart and Joanna Dorr are excited about connecting with our community and sharing the glory of God. Come on, connect with us. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Let's have a conversation. Let's hear some good news. Let's talk for a few minutes. Are you guys ready to have a conversation with me? Yeah, come on in the room. It's We're here in Oxford, Mississippi. It is 63 degrees. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day here in Oxford, and I'm looking forward to it enjoying that moment in the day today hey mary thank you for joining yes thank you for joining why don't you go ahead and share share like this page and i'm doing the exact same thing on my phone too guys i'm sharing with my community thank you for joining michael thank you for joining let's share if you hit you've heard this page before and you've connected before why don't you go ahead and share share i'm listening to myself isn't that something so let's go ahead and share and like this page because we are about to bring on a guest that's going to bring some good information to us today. Um, our pastors, uh, Pastor Mozart Door, is um, excited about the new things that's happening in Oasis, and one of the, his vision here is reaching the lost, reviving the saved, and releasing the called. And so we are doing everything here we need to do to share the glory of God. And we would love to share with you also. So right now I'm going to bring on one my guest. And he's going to share a little bit about what he's doing in America and what brought him to Oasis. So if you will, you can come on in. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Yes. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you were able to connect with us this morning. Do you? Is your mic, do you know? Oh, you're on. You're ready. Yeah. You're ready. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you're doing here. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, Jimo. My name is Jimo. Uh -huh. Jimo Primo. And uh, I'm a Nigerian. Uh, I came to the United States to pursue my uh, doctorate degree. Uh -huh. yeah, so, I was a professor back then in my country. So, uh -huh. I came here to further my studies. So, awesome. Yeah. So, tell me, what, what do you like most about America? Yeah. <laughs> Which one do I say now? You know, it's, it's a, I think it's a very organized society. Organized? It, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I, I always tell my wife, I'm like, this country was built by geniuses, man. Yeah. You yeah. think? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a genius system. You okay. Know? Uh, but for you, you were here, so you won't know it. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so the first day I was told that I'm going to get tax return, uh -huh. I thought someone was trying to set me up. Really? Yeah. Who pays tax and get it back? <laughs> <laughs> how do you pay your tax and get it back? Right. It's, right. It was totally strange. So I was like, that's not how it happens there in Nigeria. No. Oh. When you pay your tax, you bid it goodbye. You don't, you don't see You don't it get it, no returns. No way. Well, I own my own business, so I don't get a return <laughs> either. <laughs> so, Jimo is um, a student at the University of Mississippi. Yeah. And why don't you tell them what you're studying and what brought you here to Oasis? Okay, so um, I study uh, applied linguistics. Applied linguistics? linguistics. Okay. Yeah, so linguistic is a technical name for language. Right. So... Uh, it has to do with the science that you apply to language. Okay. Language use, language study, everything okay. that has to do with language. Yeah. Okay. So that's what uh, I study. So okay. in my undergrad, I, I studied French. Okay. Because Nigeria is an English-speaking country. Okay. Officially English, but I studied French. So uh, then I uh, did a master's uh -huh. in French. Okay. I uh, also did another master's in uh, applied linguistics yeah. in France. Uh -huh. And then I have another master's in uh, theology. Oh, you're so, not playing. No, I'm, I came to... <laughs> all my life I've been in the classroom teaching and learning. So, okay. Yeah, so that's what brought me here. Then uh, for Oasis, you know, I've been in the U.S. for uh, two, three years. Mm -hmm. So um, my local church in Nigeria mm -hmm. is here, but it's in uh, 
Memphis. Okay. Yeah, so it takes me like one hour thirty minutes. Okay. One hour thirty minutes to and through. That's about three hours. So it mm -hmm. was very stressful for me. So uh huh. I'm sure. I needed something local. Okay. However, okay. other churches that I saw didn't really have the Pentecostal experience. Okay. And the ones that seem to have something like the Pentecostal experience, there were too much emphasis on doctrines. Okay. You know, and you know when you are facing life situation, doctrines don't come in. <laughs> no. What you need is no, the Spirit of God and the Word of God. Absolutely. Yeah, so when I came to Oasis, I saw that. And uh, another thing that has kept me in Oasis is uh, the diversity. Okay. There is a balance. I've never seen it as any other church here that is as balanced in terms of diversity okay you have black american white americans mm -hmm. uh, africans you know people from different backgrounds mm -hmm. all you know having a balanced number mm -hmm. Not, you don't say okay uh, this race is like 95 percent right and you just have two percent of this mm -hmm. it's it's just balanced and i, I like that awesome i yeah. i like that too yeah so Believe it or not, when we first came here, my family first came here, we were the only family that looked like us. Mm -hmm. But what was beautiful is I didn't know that. It wasn't, I mean, I didn't feel different. Yeah. I felt like the glory of God was moving in the house. Yeah. The love of God was moving in the house. Yeah. And that's just where I wanted to be. Yeah. It didn't matter that I was different or my children looked different. Yeah. And nobody treated us that way. Yeah. And that's what I really love about yeah. Oasis. Yeah. That you come here, you get to experience God, and that's it. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, you just remind me of something. Mm -hmm. I've never been to any church where majority of the members are matured spiritually and mm -hmm. physically right you know so right look at the bible study everybody mm -hmm. is contributing something reasonable mm -hmm. something that has to do with scripture people talk and talk scripture mm -hmm. or you are in the bible study of some other churches and people are just talking political correctness not mm -hmm. really scriptures absolutely so that's one thing you know so when you see me in bible study i'm always quiet mm -hmm. i want to pick I know. From what everybody is saying, right, you know, right. because there is just this level of maturity and balance that mm -hmm. I, I didn't see. In all so we, what I see is being a part of is people being hungry for God and actually wanting God, not just going to church. Exactly. And a lot of times people go to church because that's what they always done. Mm -hmm. You know, they was raised to do that, yeah, but they don't really tradition. love God. Mm -hmm. It's a part of a tradition. Yeah. And here I just feel like the people really are hungry for God and really see seeking God and really want to know the truth yeah. as God said in his word that it's the truth that make us free yeah not just going to church on Sunday exactly yeah and you see some people mm -hmm. you know when they they know the scripture but mm -hmm. when they share they are ashamed to show off their knowledge not actually to contribute to the subject or right. to help others mm -hmm. I didn't really see that here people trying to show off oh I know too much mm -hmm. you know that kind of pop-up stuff right but when people contribute you see that they sincerely contribute to help the discussion and to Absolutely. promote the discussion yes. and, you know you know sometimes you feel reluctant to come for Bible study and mm -hmm. then when you're there you don't want to go right you know because <laughs> it's so good you're being fed mm -hmm. you're being fed mm -hmm. spiritually and you just don't want to leave anymore so Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that was the first time for me to really experience such a thing since I came to the U.S. So it was a yes, yes for me. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. So we have people that's online who's contributing also. And we got prayer going on in the building right now while you are listening and watching us. And you probably hear background noise. Yes, that background noise is people praying and seeking God before service because we want God to move in this house. It's not just we come to church on Sunday just to say we came or our parents bought us as children. So we just keeping that tradition going. No, we came here to get a word from God, to get something that would change our lives and for us to go out and share that glory with somebody else. And that's one of the things that about Jimo here is seeing that when he came through the door, seeing and understanding that these people really are seeking God. It's not just a tradition. Yeah. So I'm excited to have you on this morning. Right. Can Thanks you so. tell the people what um, what position you hold at the university with sharing with uh, other students? Okay, yeah. So um, I I was the president okay. of the African Caribbean Student Association. Okay. Yeah. So when I came, the association was not functional. Uh huh. So I had to start it all over again. Right. Yeah. So 
I served there for about uh, two sections. Uh -huh. Then I handed over, transitioned to somebody else. Okay. And I started the Redeemed Campus Fellowship. The what now? The Redeemed Campus Fellowship. Tell us more about that. Okay, Redeemed Campus Fellowship is a, is a Christian fellowship. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we meet together on Fridays to pray and then uh, on Sundays in the evening mm -hmm. to fellowship together, share the word of God okay. and do that. So it is exclusively for students. Okay. Yeah, so that's awesome. uh, what the Redeemed is about. That yeah, is so, wonderful. Yeah, so we are also affiliated to the Redeemed uh, Christian Church of God, North America uh -huh. and the Yazi. Yazim is the youth ministry okay. of the Redeemed Church. So okay. We organize programs together mm -hmm. and uh, do things together. Yeah. All right. So, That's incredible. So, yeah. how many students do you so, usually uh, see each week? Okay, it varies depending mm -hmm. on how busy people are. Mm -hmm. So, we can have between like uh, phase two, low five. Mm -hmm. Then, in the high side, we have had up to 20 something students. Oh, that's good. Country, yeah. So sometimes we also invite people outside of the campus to uh -huh. come and fellowship with us. Yeah. Okay, and where do you guys meet at? Okay. Because of the COVID, we have mm -hmm. been meeting online. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so before COVID, where were you guys meeting? Uh, before COVID, I've not registered it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so gotcha. I started it uh, after I, I, I handed over. So that was during the COVID. Okay, COVID yeah. has really messed a lot of yeah. things up, right? <laughs> yeah. But one of the things that I can say about, you know, connecting now with COVID going on, we can meet more. Mm -hmm. And we can meet later. Mm -hmm. And we can meet any time yeah. of the day. So it gives you an open door to really be able to share in a different way. And you can go longer. Yeah. Because you don't have to worry about trying to get back home. Yeah. You know, trying to do all this other yeah. all these other things. Mm -hmm. So I think it's opened a new door for us also. What do you think? And you can multitask too. Absolutely. You can be in two meetings at the same time. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, but. I've done that. I'll use my phone. I have two accounts. Uh -huh. I use my phone to be in one meeting. Uh -huh. I put the, the the whatever the microphone off uh -huh. because I don't need to contribute. Right. Then the other one I leave the microphone on. I'm contributing here. I'm listening with one ear. I'm cooking in the kitchen. I'm, I'm eating. Yep. The, you know, yep. just multitask and yeah. do everything at the same time. Yeah. So, so you know, people want to. They're saying they want to get back to normal. But what's normal? What do you think normal is? Normal is what you used to. Right. So that's what normal is. So right. this is the new normal, mm -hmm. but people still don't. Uh, people find it difficult to adjust to something right. new. So mm -hmm. I think that's the the main stuff. But I think this gave us more opportunity to achieve more. It does. Yeah. It really does. It, it really open has opened doors for me to connect with other things that I probably would not have connected with because of my business and having to leave my business and go to a meeting. Well, with Zoom and everything that we're doing now, I can work. And actually, still meet and exactly. do what we need to do. So exactly. that it has been good. Yeah. So COVID had been completely bad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> of course, people have died, and we we pray for the families. Yeah. But God has used COVID to open our eyes. Mm -hmm. And things that, things oh. that, that that never matter mm -hmm. now matters. Things mm -hmm. that used to matter don't mm -hmm. matter anymore. Absolutely. I don't know if I mentioned um, that I, I teach French. Right, right here at okay. yeah. uh -huh. So now I'm, I can be in my pajamas and just teach. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need to bother about what kind of clothes I'm going to wear. Right. You know, right. what time, what the time is that I have to leave the house, maybe right. an hour before the class so that uh -huh. I get to the class. Uh -huh. I don't think about all that. I don't right. worry about where parking spot. Wow. Oh, where am I going to park? I'm going okay. to school. Oh, right. this early. Will I right. get somewhere to park? Those uh -huh. are gone. I just right. wake up from my sleep. I start teaching. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we are finishing up right now. I'll service is about to start you guys don't want to miss this service we got a guest speaker coming in he has taught in alabama he has ministered for over 40 years in alabama texas and mississippi and he's coming to share some information with us on leadership and the importance of leadership in the church not just in the church but in your home as well so connect with us right now service is about to start you don't want to miss it come on we're about to go we're about to go get some work right. have a great day see you y'all be blessed